Good day everyone. I'm Ajo Bawara. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate NSC software which is freely available. Open source software which generates a ready-made TCL script for NS2 and you can simulate a various networking scenario for wireless sensor network and ad hoc wireless sensor networks which could be helpful for your dissertation and thesis work. So let's see how it works. We'll start from the installation point of view. Uh, first of all, we have to install NSD software. Uh, it is easily available on the Google. Just type on Google that NSD uh, to software download. <coughs> yeah, this is how it looks like. I downloaded that in the demo folder, which is available on the desktop. Now we can open it. How we can open it? For that command is Java dash char um, file name. That's two point one dot char. But it won't work because we are not in the best directory. So most of the people do the same mistake. They don't go into the best directory. So let me do. Let me go into the best directory. CD space desktop it is place demo now charles char oops this is how it looks like now it has an option the scenario in scenario we can see there are two types a uh, wire, new wired scenario and new wireless scenario we'll go for wireless scenario first because most of the people uh, deal with the wireless scenario now this is how it looks like over here we have few options that's called a node agent application and parameters we'll see one by one it is very easy to create a node in this software once I click in this one it creates a node I'm just clicking and it creates a node now uh, this node it shows x and y position in the graph where exactly the node is located and this gray circle line it shows the coverage area of this one now if I click on this one this blue link it shows the connectivity between two nodes now say for example if you delete the node just right click on the node and it will be deleted yeah. so let me take our new scenario and uh, say for example if you want to remove something from available view then you can edit your view from here for example if you don't want to see the coverage area then you can disable this option that's draw transmission range if you disable it it won't show this circle again now these are the various parameters that you can play around we'll go for a new scenario now i want to uh, show you one topology that normally we see in a wireless sensor network there's a one one sink and there are four source so n0 will be treated as a sink n1 n2 n3 and n4 let me treat them as a source so n1 n2 n3 and n4 those nodes sends the data to n0 now you are at the node so it creates a node now let me put the agent on each and every node so click on the agent now agent type there are available uh, various agent types over here TCP, TCP, Reno, Traha and so on and UDP as well so let me make it very simple uh, let me put a TCP agent on each of the node so TCP0, TCP1, TCP2 and TCP3 and as TCP theory says that the sync node it has to be TCP sync so let me select TCP sync and it has to be here so there are four nodes I need to create four syncs because the applications will may, may, may run parallelly now a more important thing that we need to connect this TCP sync then and then this node 0 and node 1 node 2 and node 0 node 3 and node 0 and node 4 and node 0 can communicate with each other on transport layer so just click on this one and connect these two things in this manner it is very simple to use this is how the scenario looks like 
now we implemented till now we implemented node on the router layer then we apply a transport layer protocols tcp protocol now it's time to move towards the application now in transport layer also you can play around with the packet size now we'll go for the application in application there are two applications available tcp and uh, ftp and sorry ftp and cbr fire transfer protocol and constant beat rate say for example if we select fire transfer protocol it gives the start time and stop time you can change it according to your wish like this and we need to apply this application on each and every node so this application will be applied on transport layer of each node so you need to collect connect in this manner Just click on the tcp on the relevant node and extend the application this is how it looks like and you won't need to add those application on the sync because it is not a source node so if you try to do it it won't give a permission now a parameters how you can select a wireless channel parameters on the physical layer so for example uh, there are simulation it shows the simulation time trace file name is out.tr name file name that's out.name if you want to change the name you can change it from here these are wireless parameters that we need to set it and these are channel parameters so transmitting antenna again receiver antenna again l that is the loss factor make sure these are not loss factor regarding the channel it's a loss factor for hardware operating frequency bandwidth threshold values data rate and so on if you want to change it you can change it from here for example 0.5 yeah but i want to change here uh, click here from uh, this block if you are changing anything and just done here it is now a very good find button that is given over here tcl just click on that one your whole tcl script will be ready now click on this one control a control c go into one of the folder let me go into the demo again uh, in the trial any file name that's demo.tcl or whatsoever you can give it save this is how you can see your ready-made ns2 uh, scripting language these are the simulation parameters set over here for wireless scenario wireless channel scenario this is the session for initializing the nodes yeah nodes and uh, the position with x y and z now agent definition the connection between two agents on transport layer and application defined on each and every source node that what did we, what we did and this is the finish of the processor this is how it looks like save it and let's run but before that we need to close this NSG now cd space dot dot I am I have to go into trial yep yeah here we have a file that we need to run it that's demo.tcl let's run ns space demo.tcl this is how it looks like whatever we simulated over there it gives the exit scenario in ns2 now a play let me increase the time yeah and the packets are started to send and these four nodes n1 n2 n3 and n4 those are the source nodes and n0 that is a sync now you can do some analysis on the basis of ns2 software but i want to uh, i don't want to give a demonstration on ns2 that will be given in the next video so this is how you can generate your ns2 scripting ready made with the help of nsg software now if you want to move something means if you want to do something more with the ns2 software using nsg you can do it let's check it out
Yeah, there are few more options that we have available in in NSG software. Uh, scenario wireless. Yep. Ha. Huh. Now, so for example, if you want to make a topology in terms of grid level, then you can select a grid, and once you select, ready-made grid will be available. So the grid value that you can change from here number of nodes 5 cross 5 a uh, vertical distance horizontal distance distance you can change it and your ready-made grid will be ready so for example if you don't want to play with the grid if you want to implement in terms of vertical chain then once you click it five nodes will be created with the distance 200 meter by using one simple click and if you click it in the next to that then if it is in the range it will be connected if it is not in the range then it will be not connected like this so this is how you can uh, uh, deploy a number of nodes and in agent option we have a few agent options as well application that we already have seen that and yeah this is all about energy software